increasing the immigration levels, interestingly, will take some of the pressure off of the system. I'm going to take a stick at 249. I'm going to take a stick at 249. I'm going to take a stick at 249. Do you know what Canada's immigration has to do with the dating scene? Well, you're about to find out. In a past life, I used to work in the dating industry. I was the guy responsible for making sure you signed up to as many dating apps as your lusty little mind could handle. One of the many things I learned about during this time was game. Those with game thrive. Those without it settle and wither. The number one rule of having good game is to not become a nice guy. And this is where Canada has failed. We've developed this terminal obsession with becoming a nice guy. We need to be welcoming. We need to be accommodating. And it seems as though we're willing to do that literally by any cost. So stick around because there's a bonus to this video on like other matters related to Canada's immigration woes, I've got a two-minute action you can take that'll have a substantial impact on the problem, so stick around for that. So before we get right into it, I want to roll a clip that perfectly summarizes the parallels between Canada's immigration and bad dating game. Here we go. It really isn't a cliche. Nice guys really do finish last, and we're starting to see that very outcome with the hordes of low-grade newcomers we're allowing into Canada. Let's take, for instance, this guy. I the original intent behind letting him into Canada was, presumably, from a good intention. We wanted to give him a crack at a life on a fresh and more prosperous playing field. But judging by what we see in this video, it becomes remarkably clear we spent too much time being nice and hoping and wishing for the best, and not enough time running him through the right and proper tests to ensure he meets our standards. What that man is doing in the video is a crime. There is no other way to call it. So not only did we, in our haste to be warm, welcoming, and accepting, neglect to spot that deceitful element in his character, but now he's here, and he's teaching other newcomers how to run scams. Going back to the dating analogy, it's really no different than when you lock a bunch of Sex and the City fans together in a room. It's only a matter of time until the collective moral fiber of the group sinks below zero. But hey, at least this guy's keeping it subtle and non-violent, unlike this guy. Now, you don't get the best look at the dude's face in the video, but you do get enough of a glimpse to see he clearly has a deep-seated D-bagginess about him. My uncle used to interview a lot of people in the military, and not too many of those people he interviewed would make it past him. He could read people like books. Based on what my uncle told me, you really only need five to seven minutes with the right set of questions in place to make the proper call. And that's what I'm saying is that if five to seven minute interviews with prospective immigrants isn't feasible, you're simply bringing in too many immigrants. What does it tell you when our immigration department doesn't have time for a simple five to seven minute interview? You'll spend at least three times as much for a job interview. So why not this? Because we want to be nice and accepting. And in the case of liberals, they're also very desperate to cook their GDP numbers since they completely tanked our economy. And speaking of of tanking Canada's economy in the service of people who don't even live here, let's take a look at the ginger treatment we're getting from the fake international students and TFWs out in Brampton. Good enough to stay. Good enough to what? 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 Good enough to stay. Good enough to stay. Good enough to what? Yeah. 
If you're wondering why I mentioned Ginger, that's the character Sharon Stone portrayed in the movie Casino, also starring Robert De Niro and Joe Pesci. In case you haven't seen it yet, the short of it is this. Ginger is an unabashed gold digger. As in, she puts no effort into concealing that her greed and materialism are the main reason she's married. When she isn't wasting her husband's cash on toys, she berates him, insults him, and mocks him. Not only is she brazenly wasting her husband's money on any little trinket or dress that catches her eye, she he also starts cheating on him with his best friend. What you're seeing in these protests are much the same that we see from the character of Ginger. They want to get something they didn't earn under false pretenses and they couldn't care less who gets hurt in the process. But here's where that bonus I mentioned earlier in the video comes in. Unlike other cases related to mass immigration, you can actually help with this specific problem. You see, our little Gingers in Brampton don't have the deep resources Ginger in Casino does. So they set up a GoFundMe page. If you scroll to the bottom of this page, you'll find a report fundraiser link. That'll take all of two minutes from your life, if that, and you will actually do some good as these guys can't continue their illegal protests without additional funding. So please take some time out of your day to do that. It's one of the few small steps you can actually contribute to helping with Canada's mass immigration problem. Thank you very much for watching, and if you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing. I'll catch you in the next one. The Liberals are unleashing an internet censorship law known known as Bill C-23. Even if they weren't, three oceans can be deplatformed at any time for any reason. That's why I want to invite you to join the Three Oceans newsletter. If standing up against mass immigration, excessive taxation, the housing crisis, and the woke agenda is important to you, joining the Three Oceans newsletter is the best move you can make. It's free and it will never be deplatformed. Unlike this channel and other social media accounts, the Three Oceans newsletter is no holds barred and uncensored. Also, you can count on your data being protected and not being monitored like it is on social media. So visit 3oceans.ca. Once again, that's 3oceans.ca to subscribe and beat the woke authorities trying to control the narrative like they control your government.